husband will actually be taking me to Half Price Bookstore. Hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is angel and all i do is talk about books for today's video i have kind of like a haul but it's more like a collector's haul because the majority of the books they're kind of repeat buys just different editions but anyway let's just get started so the first book i actually got sent and it's by lj shen herself and it is her upcoming new release with Parker S. Huntington. It's called My Dark Romeo. It is about Romeo and Dallas. I'm guessing it's some kind of rival. And I'm guessing that they kissed as strangers. And then somehow they're going to hate each other. And maybe it, it turns into like a arranged marriage. I have no idea. It's kind of all over the place. But I'm really excited to read it. I can already feel like all the dark academia vibes and i love it and the cover is so aesthetically pleasing i cannot stop looking at it the font the colors the painting i love it the next three books are the same i just got it in different editions the first books i got from barnes and noble is, is just the finished set of the caravel trilogy by stephanie garber and then at half price bookstore i got this edition of the caravel series like, isn't this just so great? I could tell when I went to Barnes & Noble to pick up these two, it was going to be such a good day. And then when I went to the Half Price Bookstore, and then I saw these editions, I just knew that it was going to be such an amazing video to film. If you've never heard about the Caravelle series, it is about two sisters, Scarlett and Donatella. Donatella actually goes by Tella, but they both have been wanting to go to Caravelle for... As long as they can remember, their grandmother has been telling them stories about it of when she went when she was younger and how everything is filled with magic and illusions and all that. And when I think of Caravelle, I think of kind of like a circus, but with like real magic. But Scarlett has been writing letters to the Caravelle master legend and legend actually like hosts all these caravels around like the country and different continents and stuff and and so scarlet has been literally writing him letters for i think like seven years begging him to, to come to their country because he doesn't ever go to the same country twice and so she's begging him to come and one year he finally responds to her letters and gives her tickets to come to Caraval. And so each year during Caraval, it's kind of like a game. And so he gives you like five clues and to win Caraval, you have to follow the rules that he gives you and it kind of pieces the puzzles together. And then at the end is like a major prize. And, and for that year's prize, it was like a grant of a wish. And without Scarlett knowing, her sister was kidnapped for the game. And so that kind of motivated her to actually go through with the game and not watch. Because you can choose to decide to watch. It's just this big puzzle that you kind of have to piece together. And it's literally like... Nobody has seen Legend. Nobody knows what he looks like. Not even the performers. And so Scarlett's like, are you Legend? Are you Legend? No, you're Legend. All the plot twists is just so crazy. But I obviously had to pick up the next two books. And so the second book in the Caravelle series is Legendary. This is just the special edition. Like, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that just 
oh my god i was so excited when i saw it at the half price bookstore anyway getting off topic the second book is legendary it is about tella and how she made a bargain with this mysterious criminal in the first book to give out legend's real name and so in order to do that she has to play the game again and I'm guessing the second book is more of just Tella and her story and her love story. And then the last book, which is Finale, again, the special edition, isn't it? It's so pretty. Um, I actually don't want to read the bag because I haven't finished the second book, so I'm scared that I might give it away. But this is just the final book of the Caravelle series. But can I talk about this edition first? Like, look at that. I do need to find the first book in this edition just so it could match up. But this is what the original series looks like. And then the special edition. I don't know. I'm just kind of crazy about it. And while we're talking about the Caraval series, I heard that there's a spinoff, Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. This book actually follows like a whole nother couple. But if I'm telling this correctly... The main guy in here was mentioned in the Caraval series. But then the female character is completely new. I think. Something like that. And this book is about Evangeline and how she finds out that her lover is set to marry another. And so to stop the wedding completely, she makes a bargain with the Prince of Hearts. And that completely reeled me in because I already know that I love the Caraval series. And anything written by Stephanie Garber, I we'll read now so and then that was it for my barnes and noble haul i didn't really get much i didn't know what i want though so it kind of made it easier for me to not browse around and then moving on to half price bookstore i got this edition of a court of thorns and roses funny story i actually had this in the box set that it came in but i did have the original cover first which is like on the bottom but at the time, I didn't know that having like a full set collection would mean a lot to me. So I ended up ripping this book and having it on like my wall as like the book pages wall, if you guys remember. Um, yeah, biggest regret I've ever had, but had to pick it up again. And yeah, I definitely, that is one of the biggest regret I've ever had, so never repping this up again. If you don't know what Akatar is, Akatar by Sarah J Maas is the first book of the Akatar series. It is a fantasy romance. It is about Feyre and how poor her family is and how she had to do everything for her family. And so one day she goes to go hunt and she's near the border of Perithian. On that border is like this gigantic wall and that splits off and so that wall actually blocks off the mortal lands from like the rest of like Perithian, which has like phase and like all of that, like magic and all that. And so she kills a wolf, not knowing that the wolf was Fey. And one of the high lords from like the Fey lands comes to grab her, basically. And then they fall in love. And then it's just like a lot of drama from there. The next three books I got are mystery based, but they're all from, but the next book I got was The Silent Patient. I've seen everybody talk about this book and I've always just been so weary of it. I don't know, maybe because the cover is just kind of scary, but this book is about Alicia and how she has shot her husband five times in the face and ever since then, stopped talking. And so Theo, who is a criminal psychotherapist, he actually finds her case intriguing and decides to take on it and works with Alicia and tries to get her to talk about the whole incident. And he finds out a lot of stuff that I have yet to find out, but I'm excited. The next book I got was The Paris Apartment. I've also seen a lot of people talk about it um, and this cover. The bright fuchsia pink. I just love it. It's just so cute. But the Paris apartment is about these five neighbors who are all suspects of like this crime and they're all keeping secret and they're not really revealing the full truth. I don't know what the crime is yet. I don't know what they're hiding. Um, so basically I really don't know anything, but that's literally all it says. So we're going to find out. We're gonna find out more. The last book I got from Half Price Books is Never Never 
by the one and only Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I've actually not seen people talk about this book, but this book is actually a romance mystery, I'm guessing. It is about Charlize and Silas. They are childhood friends who actually fell in love at like the age of 14, and then one morning they just wake up and they're complete strangers. They have no idea who the other person is, they have no memories of like the past together and so they work together to unfold the truth of what happened and why it happened. And I just thought that was pretty interesting. And that is the end of my book haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more book content.